Hey everyone, welcome back. Chris Lambert here. Welcome back to my unboxing portion of my channel. And last time I was uh, filming, last couple of times, uh, one of the times my um, tripod broke, the leg broke off it. I tried to buy the exact same tripod, but it's not for sale anymore. So I did find this brand. Let me uh, see if I can find it find it here on on a um, I bought some on Amazon I bought one then I found another and another and let's see if I can find the uh, brand here okay here's a brand it was a Ulanzi it was $29.95 cost about $32 and then I found another Elon Z and that one this was the first one I bought I think which was about eighteen ninety-five which that one cost about twenty dollars total then I bought the second one then, then I found this metal one um, and they're all Elon Z that's all Amazon seemed to want to show me so I thought a, a metal one would be uh, good for certain things, not as, as lightweight. It says it's lightweight, but not as lightweight as plastic. So the other two were plastic. This is a $49.95 total of about $54. So um, I received them, and I think I bought a, a prepper book that just popped up since I, I'm into the uh, prepping stuff, preparing for emergencies. So. So let's uh, open one of these up. Okay, I think this is the last one I got. So that's the metal one, I think. So let's save that for last. I think that's my book. This one is, I think this one's lighter. Looks like it's, I could tear these open. So I think this is the, this is the cheapest one. I can see. Get behind the camera so I can see what I'm showing you. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Note this product does not include GoPro. Wow. I wonder who thinks that. Okay. Here we go. Let's look. Okay, so it looks like like we have uh, some attachments here. I think this is part of the GoPro. Let me make sure I'm I'm looking through the lens so I can see. I think that's part of the GoPro attachment right there. Okay. Now here we have the attachment I'll use, which is the spring-loaded. Uh, doesn't look like it opens very far. Some of these older ones might not open as far as I don't know how old this is. But the new phones are a lot bigger. I'm still using my LG for this because it has an SD card in it. And it uploads fast. So here we go. Ulanzi. A little bit different than my last one. Cats in the box down there. Okay, so it opens up like that, so I can set it here, which is what I normally do. This one, you have to, um, hmm, okay, that's, it's got this ball joint. You tighten it up like this. I think you can just, it's hard to push this up. Now, I did read that some of these are hard to push up when you first uh, get them. And I think it, this is where it separates right here. Yeah, I don't want to break. The, there we go. Okay. So this is as far as this one goes, which is fine for me, fine for someone. Here comes the, the Siamese cat. Fine for someone using it on a, this one even fits better on this can here. Is that as high as it goes? Hmm, I guess so, yeah. 
which I think that would be fine for me. I thought this one went a little bit higher. Let's see if I can lower this a little bit so you can see. So there we go. By the way, I'm using this other um, uh, tripod which I bought. It's a metal one. I try and buy compact stuff. And this one has a screw top. Put this in here. Tighten it down. I didn't like this the screw kind at first, but I think it it can be better when you tighten it. It might be better to hold for holding it. So yeah, it's got this nice rubber grip. This was the $18 one that cost me about $20. Now I don't know know how. Let me check out my um brick phone here the case this is my galaxy 21 ultra let's see if it's gonna hold that yeah, I guess it does it does hold the uh, ultra okay my cat's knocking the uh, tripod so you would just uh, attach this Raise this up a little bit. Tighten this. And yeah, you're ready to go. Nice little uh, $18, you know, um, cause you can't do this one sideways. Well, you can, you have to do this, but then, yeah, okay. So there you go, there's the, uh, Yulanji $18 uh, tripod. And let's set this out of the way for a second. And we'll find our next one. Oh, the cat's on it. Excuse me, cat. Check this one out. Okay, this is, I can tell this is not. This, this is my uh, Prepper's Survival Book. Uh, 16 books in one. It says there's a lot of books like this. I re recommend people buy at least one book. If you don't buy the books, there's plenty of videos you can watch online. Um, hopefully a lot of information in here. I don't see too many pictures, black and white pictures. How to prepare for emergencies. You know, have food, start fires, to cook food, you know, purify water and all that stuff. So, yeah, I, I saw this, it looked good. So I grabbed that. I think it was around 20 bucks, maybe. Okay, now let's go with this one. Get my old work knife out here. Nice box. Some nice pictures on there sometimes. Sometimes advertisements for movies and stuff. And this is really nice. Now this one was in a package like this, and and they were nice enough to put it in a box to protect it more. This is some really tough plastic here. So okay. number two, the a $24 total. Milanji. Okay, I don't want to get this stuff mixed up. Okay, this goes with the other one. This has one also. Throw that down there. So here's your GoPro attachment. I don't have a GoPro yet. I, I did have a a camera similar to a GoPro, but it uh, broke, and I never got it fixed. Even though I had the, uh, I paid for the 
warranty. Looks like we got a little uh, controller on this one. We don't have one on the other one. So this is the M16. You want the M16, so it does have uh, a similar uh, camera or uh, smartphone attachment. You can use it with a GoPro. This one looks like it's sealed shut. Get out my old knife again here. Be careful. It's like the whole thing's sealed in plastic. Yeah, let's see if I can get this. Now this one has a cold shoe, which means um, you can connect things like microphones, lights on it, but there's no electrical connection. That would be a hot shoe, I think, even though I don't use that type of stuff and never have before. That's what they said. So, got a Ulanzi qualified certificate. Set this one down here. This one's a little bigger. Here's your uh, cold shoe. Attach your, uh, a little bit crooked, isn't it? I don't think that moves either. Okay, they glued it on there. Kind of crooked. So, these legs have rubber on the bottom. I can feel it. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a rubber pad there. There's the bottom. I guess on these Yulanzi, hey, this one is bigger. So I would set this like that. And... There's a, it's got the ball adjustment also. See how far this one pulls up. Okay, this one pulls up a lot farther, okay? So, for the extra five bucks I paid for this, it would be nicer for somebody who wanted something that was uh, taller. As you can see, Goes up to maybe over a foot high, not really tall, but and then you can add the attachment on that one also, or you can add the GoPro, and you have your uh, your Bluetooth uh, for your camera or your phone, Bluetooth to turn it on and off. And so far, I like these uh, Ulanzi tripods; they seem pretty pretty nice. You can use it to vlog with all these. They're small enough. I like small compact things I can carry if I had to, even though I don't use these when I, I vlog. And now we'll get to the uh, biggest one. The most expensive one, I should say. The metal one. It's also Yulanzi. This was the $54 one. I think it had a tear thing on it. And yeah, it's, it's a lot heavier. This is the MT-47 tripod. Looks like it opens like this. This one has a little manual in it. This camera doesn't focus that well, so. Got pan lock, quick release plate. This has a quick release plate on the top. Quick, quick locking knob, tripod. 170 millimeters is the, as far as you can raise it. Comes in a nice box with a couple of Allen wrenches. A couple of different sized Allen wrenches. Feels like foam rubber. Like a hard foam rubber. Right here. 
Yeah, that's some nice foam. Okay, this one's more heavy duty. I don't know what's wad wobbling around, what's rattling. Something's rattling. Oh, it's this, okay. So this is the removable piece up here. I'm not exactly sure why they do that. Anybody knows, uh, let me know in the comments. Also, I don't know why it does this, but okay. That's that removable plate, this nice metal. Here's your cold shoe on this one. Looks like that takes this, this Allen wrench to tighten it. The other Allen wrench uh, tightens here. Take that thing, thing off and it'll tighten here. Let's open this up. It's got a nice rubberized uh, grip here. You got a uh, little bit, maybe smaller rubber feet than the last one. Set that like this. Let's pull this up and see how far this one goes. This one doesn't go very far, but I didn't want these to go far. This, some people, I, I read a review where somebody really likes this one for their desktop, desktop filming. They can put it on their desktop when they're vlogging or making a video. Here's the adjustments. Got a nice ball adjustment. So that, that cost me a total of about $54. There it is. So, so that's everything I got. Got three new tripods. We'll see which one I like the best. Got Tony over here. Got our Siamese cat neighbor here. And I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. And I said I would. I got this um, Russian MRE from MRE Mountain for on sale for $15 around. I think it was around Christmas time. These are supposed to last for years, so. You know, an MRE is a, a meal ready to eat uh, for the military. Might be freeze-dried. Who knows? I, I was hoping to get a good one with a lot of stuff in it in a, in a self-heating element, but for 15 bucks, I don't know what to expect. So I said if, if I get uh, 10,000 subscribers, I'll try this. It's from Minsk. Belarus, but it's a Russian MRE. Kind of uh, scared to eat it, but <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen after I eat it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share if you like. Till next time, Chris Lambert.